I am Sunday Ibrahim from Plateau State, Bokos local government, live at Horop. Sir, this assignment was given to me by Mr. J. Tron Gusen. Point at him. Point at him. Yes. By Mr. J. Tron Gusen. Which. J. Tron, stand up. Which. What was the reason given by Mr. Jetro for you to kidnap Padari? The reason he gave to me that his son, Joshua, was one time governor for eight years. And secondly, was one time senator for eight years. Then thirdly, he wants the he wants us which he look around the uh, community, the youth are on employed so we should keep now him so that we we got a ransom how many of you participated in the runs in the kidnap sir we are now we are eight here but some full animals which i don't know them they are not here How much did you book? How many days did Padaria stay with you? Okay, He's, he stayed with us about eight days. Who took care of him while he was with you? Mr. Abubakar. Who cooked for him while he was with you? He is. Abubakar, stand up. Is he the one that cooks for him? Which food did you give, Papa? Okay, sit down. How much did you people collect? We collected the money. When we collected the money, we took him to Babaji Tron. He confirmed the money, which he told us that is 10 million naira. Thank you. Mangut. Yes, sir. Who killed Padari after the ransom was collected? I was the one, sir. What kind of weapon did you use in killing him? Is this type of weapon, sir? Who provided the weapon? It's by Jetron Kusen. Why did you kill him? Because when when the he, he come and tell me to to shoot him let's go so that we should go and take and then i tell him how why will we kill him then he, he was talking like that and then and that's that was the first time i fall born really i said i will try to shoot okay thank you give me the microphone collect the microphone Pajetro, stand up mr Jetro, rather Mr. Jetron, do you have anything to tell the world? Do you have anything to tell the Nigerian police force, the Dari family, or the Nigerians generally? Oh, thank you so much, the officers and the men of the Nigerian police force. Actually, I was the one, you know, I was trying to say some things and uh, if you give assignment and the children are going and mess up or they do something, all the blame will go to the person who give the job. I was trying to deny and do something and ask all of you to forgive me. So I give the job to these children and they went and mess up. My mission was not for them to kill him after collecting ransom. Actually, it is not in my mind. So, it has happened. We will ask the police to forgive, the family to forgive, and everybody who is here, because it's not good when you collect the ransom and you kill the person. So, children have done their own. There's nothing we can do. Thank you so All much. All crimes are local. Hardly will any person come to your community to carry out a kidnap successfully without an insider. A 93 years old man late Padarie Defuan 
a native of Orop in Bokos, local government area of Plato State, was kidnapped by a gang of kidnappers. And after a protracted negotiation, a ransom of 10 million naira was paid to these kidnappers. Rather than let the innocent old man go home, the kidnappers, in addition to the trauma they've made Padaria to go through, in addition to the extortion of 10 million naira that they have successfully executed, went on to murder Padaria in cold blood. The unfortunate thing about this crime is that all of the suspects who played major roles in this crime, except for some of the participants who are full at ease and who were actually recruited by the rest of the suspects, are all from the same village with Padari. <laughs>